Oh, right, I'm live. Okay. And so, right, welcome to my 50th show. Um, it's a miracle that I've made 50 shows. I can't believe it, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, here I am. I'm doing my 50th weekly 10 show. And hopefully another 50 to come. We'll see. But I'm going to talk about today um, something that's actually quite relevant to me today, to be honest with you. Um, how to remain focused and happy when um, life's going crazy around you, when everything just seems to be crashing down around you and you just feel like giving up, you feel like your energy's gone, you feel like everything's going wrong in life and to be honest, you know, I've been feeling like that all day today and um, it's been difficult, It's a bit. I went to a good friend's funeral earlier and that wasn't very pleasant um, in terms of thinking about things because I was thinking about a lot about things about my own family and Christmas is a time of year where I reflect a lot about that sort of stuff you see and uh, something happened which triggered a lot of thoughts uh, about my family and my mum's my mum's eighth anniversary of her death was yesterday and um, so obviously that's going to be on my mind a lot and um, today at that funeral they played a song and that song um, was the same song, it's my mum's favourite song, which we played at um, my mum's funeral eight years ago. And it was the first time I heard that song. And it just triggered something in me. And it sent me, not into a necessarily negative spiral, but into a mindset where I was very, very focused on the past. And that sent me into like a low sort of energy. Because I was just focusing on what's gone. And what's not here anymore, and that then let, um, because my energy was low, I started focusing on the things that are not going right in my life right now. Difficulties I'm experiencing with work, you know, and stuff like that, and that drains your energy even further because you're focusing on all that's going wrong, not that's going, not the things that are going right. And if you do that, then guess what? Your energy stays low, and you feel low. And I've been feeling low for a, a while today because of that. And I went to the gym and I've been talking to my friends about this. So, but the, funny enough, the show was about that anyway. And so really I have to practice what I preach here. And I'm going to. And I'm going to go through a little technique with you um, about what I think is the best way to deal with this and to keep yourself in the moment so that you're not focusing on the past. And you're not worrying about things that might happen in the future, which is exactly relevant with what I've been going through today. Because <coughs> I've been focusing on the past with my own family, because it's Christmas, and I'm missing them, and I'm not, I haven't got my family around me, and I feel lonely. And because of that, that's lowered my energy, and that then means I'm looking at the future, I'm focusing on worries, I'm worrying about things not turning out the way they should do, in terms of my business and, and my life in general. You know, you start worrying, am I going to ever meet someone? Am I ever going to be happy? And this is all because your energy is low. And when your energy is low, that's what you think. You think through those prisms of those um, beliefs, limiting beliefs, assumptions, interpretation stories that we create in our mind that aren't necessarily true. Uh, fear. Fear is a creation of our own mind. And it's relevant to a lot of people right now, especially with COVID and everything that's going on and our individual strife and troubles that we all go through. And it's relevant because we get ourselves into this low energy and then we start fearing things, worrying about things, stressing about things. And I'm no different to anybody else. Even though I've been trained as a coach and I know how to get myself out of it and everything else, I'm a human being. But there's one thing that we can do which will help us and it helps me and it will help me. It's gonna help me tonight. And it's going to help me just by doing this show and talking about it. Because when we actually learn how to practice being in the moment and removing thoughts of the past, removing worries about the future that might happen, which you very, invariably don't happen, because we create, because when we fear something, we look at the worst scenario. We don't ever look at the other perspectives where it could go right. We tend to look at the perspectives which, where it's going wrong. Because we're looking at everything from a low energy. 
And when you're at high energy, you don't look at things from that sort of perspective. You look at it from a perspective where everything could go right. You look at the opportunities instead of the problems. Now, there's something called detached involvement. Now, detached involvement, it's not easy. It's not easy to practice, as I've just proved to you by explaining that I've been going through this myself. But it's possible for you to remain in the moment and remove anything like that from your mindset, um, which is creating that low energy. And now, these steps, which I'm going to uh, talk, uh, mention now, are not easy to practice, but when you do practice them, and you live by them, what you find is that you start becoming a lot more, more happier, a lot more focused, a lot more in control. And again, it's not something we can do all the time because we're human beings. As I've just demonstrated, things happen in life which throw our energy to the floor and it's down to us to get ourselves out of that again. And it's only when we're consciously aware of that can we actually do something about that? Because 90% of the time, we're not consciously aware of that. We're subconsciously um, driven, and therefore our fears, our limiting beliefs, our assumptions and things like that come to life. That's when our energies are low. It's only when we're consciously aware of our energy that we can be highly energised and control our energy so that it works for us. It takes practice. It's not easy to do, but it's possible. And when you do do it, you can create what you want in life. And you feel a lot better for it. You're a lot happier generally uh, as a result. And generally, I do do this. And today's been a difficult day because of that funeral. And, and it set me off in that sort of mindset. But I'm going to start practicing this now. And I want you to do the same. <clears throat> so take these notes. Take If you, if you want to take this down, if you don't, don't. But it's worth doing. Detached involvement means taking nothing personally. So firstly, when you, when, when, you're some, when you feel that something's slighted on you, when it's about you, someone's having a go at you, or someone's um, done something to harm you in some way, we can take it personally. Take nothing personally. If, a, if someone makes a judgment of you, we tend to think it's about us. It's not. It's about them. Take nothing personally. So when we start to take nothing personally, that's your first step to detached involvement. Secondly, make no assumptions. Don't assume anything. Don't assume you know the answer to something. Don't assume you know how th something's going to turn out when you don't. I can assume this is going to happen next week. I don't know. It's my assumptions. It's based on what I think will happen. I don't know what will happen. So don't make no assumptions. Take nothing personally. Make no assumptions. Make as few judgments as you can possibly make. We're all judgmental be uh, beings. Every single one of us. We make judgments every single minute of every day. But when you train yourself not to, when you learn how to be consciously aware of whether you're making a judgment or not, you can remove that judgment. Because as soon as you make a judgment about anything, it, re it reduces your energy. And you again start f seeing things through those limiting beliefs, fears, assumptions and so on. Lows your energy, you feel like you're trapped and so on. It's all about your energy. If your energy's low, you're seeing things, problems. If your energy's high, you're seeing opportunities. That's how I think about it. So let go of the need to be right in situations. Don't see every situation as black or white, right or wrong. There is no right or wrong. You know, I, I, I got into a, a state, or not, a state of mind where I felt frustrated earlier because of something Yell.com did with my website where they mucked it up, basically. And I had an argument with them because I'm paying them a, a lot of money to do this. And, and it all went tits up. But then there's that need to be right and wrong. There's a right and wrong. When you look at it from a, um, a, a, a non-judgmental perspective, they didn't do it deliberately. But because I was in that low energy at the time, I ended up having an argument with them. So you, you, you've got to let go of that need to be in control of a situation. It's not easy to do that. We all want to be in control of situations. But when you do, you again, you let your energy rise. And you be, be passionate about life's experiences. Everything, even the bad things. That's not easy either, believe me. But it's important to do so. Give all, all you have, your true gifts in life, to whatever you're doing in life. And again, that raises your energy. It gives you the ability to control how you respond 
to everything that happens to you in your life and be present in the moment and detach yourself from everything. All for, um, uh, future potential results, outcomes, anything that you think, like an outcome might be, you know, oh, if I don't do this by this time, this is going to happen. You don't know what's going to happen. Life is a learning process day by day. We move day by day. So the key here is to learn to be uh, in the moment. Be object um, see everything objectively, without the judgments, without the assumptions, taking nothing personally. Let go of that need to be right. You know, don't feel the need to have to be in control of everything that happens in your life. Just go with the flow sometimes. And you find that when you do that, when you release all of that pressure from you, from your mindset, your energy rises. And suddenly all of those problems that you thought were piling up on top of you suddenly dissipate and disappear. And I'm going to leave it there tonight because I need to do this as well. And it works. It does work because I've done it many times. And today is a prime example of a day where I need to do this as well. And I hope this has been helpful to you because, you know, learning how to use your mindset to work for you in any given situation isn't easy to do. <coughs> but when you practice it, and when you learn these things that I teach, this philosophy that I teach, and you practice it, practice it, practice it, practice it, eventually it becomes normal. And it takes time, but it's worthwhile. And if you're interested in finding out more about what I do as a coach and how I can help you um, create this life, uh, you know, it's not it's the perfect life, but you can create confidence, happiness, and start living a life that you really want. So check me out on my website, and um, I'm available for one-to-one -one coaching, and I hope that's been helpful for you tonight, and I'll speak to you all soon. See you soon. Happy Christmas, by the way. <laughs>